One of the many great things about our show is the combination of what's real and what's not. That's what separates this show from a lot of things, because we're willing to go the distance in terms of reality. If it was all VFX, we would be in Studio City right now. We're in, on the Mediterranean coast of Spain because we need this. We need it in our skin, you know? We need the sun and ancient castles that the Moors built. This is Spanish dirt underneath my fingernails. Can't get that in the studio. Spain is so massive with its locations and looks. We thought that we could do it as a bit of a traveling show this year. And we had so many new worlds that we had to visit that we went from the northern part of Spain all the way down to the south. There was five different big locations, five cities to go to. Spain's geography gives you the north, which is a little more green, the south, which has a lot of desert. But the variety you could get in Spain was great. So when we started the journey in Girona, we were there for two weeks all over the city centre because Girona is a nice place, a really beautiful city. Yeah, we went to Girona, beautiful town, beautiful little medieval town and the perfect setting for Game of Thrones. From Girona we travelled about 600 kilometres west to Bardenas Real, which is a desert close to the Pyrenees Mountains. So yes, we got a lot of beautiful desert, which was fun. It was all incredible. The landscape was insane. It was just beautiful. From there, we went on to um, a place called Castillo de Zafra, which is in the middle of nowhere. It's in a place in Spain called the Siberia of Spain because it's known as being the coldest part of Spain. But the location was absolutely unreal. It, I mean, it genuinely looked like a set. And then you looked over these massive plains as if you were in sort of the plains of Africa. And it was just like, okay, wow, this is, this is the coolest place to be able to act and work. From there, our journey took us to Peniscola. Peniscola is a coastal place. Its old town is a rock, a single rock sitting right in the Mediterranean Sea. After Peniscola, we ended up coming here, which is the last of our five areas, not the last location, because within this area, within Almeria, which is where we are right now, we have, again, five different locations. I lost track of the amount of different locations that we've used. But every year, when you come back to Game of Thrones, there's a couple of those wow moments. And being here on location just outside of Almeria was definitely one of those wow moments for me. It's been good coming back here, you know, and I, I'll never lose that thrill uh, as an actor. I mean, yeah, you get it on different films, but I get it in spades on Game of Thrones. You come and you see the... You see the work that people have done, and you know the population. You're madly passionate about the series as well, so we always get, you know, extras that are well up for it. We experienced last year the caliber of extras that we got in Spain, and again, it was just repeated. I've just never worked with such hardworking, happy to be there people. It just infects the whole set. There's just a wash of happiness and confidence, and people taking it seriously. And it's just, it is a joy. It was a joy. The show being back to Spain means a lot for Spain. To host Game of Thrones is a big honor for everybody, and it's a big show for everybody. So everybody's really, really thrilled. The people are thrilled. Well, no matter where you go, they're like, wow. And it's fun to watch, and it's really great to be part of that.